state appears to finally be starting to grasp the idea of social distancing. He acknowledges some people may start to go stir crazy, especially since the potential end date for all of this is later now. News 8's Katie Wisely is live at UND with ways you can adjust your daily routine. Good morning, Katie. Hey, good morning. A professor here at the university says we can't give up on social distancing too soon or we'll see a higher case count of COVID-19 and then we would actually see that happen quicker. Now, the professor here at the university, Kara Cecil, says that you should really think creatively. How can you do the things you normally do differently, like order groceries online or toys for your children from a local toy store? While it's important to stay six feet away from another person, for families with children, that's not always possible. So only send one one person to the grocery and don't take the whole family. If you have to get out, wash your hands and shower as soon as you get home, then put your clothes in the wash on hot and always leave your shoes at the door. Cecil says if every Hoosier gets on board with this new reality, then the possibility of staying home past April decreases. Staying at home does work. So that social distancing, those stay at home orders, we, they do work. We're seeing evidence of that in Italy. We're seeing evidence of that having an effect in Washington state where they've been doing this longer and they're reducing their new case counts. The weather is getting nicer and we are itching to get outside. I would say you can do that. You just have to do it in a way that's just with your family. Cecil says researchers are looking at data from each day, every day, and this will then inform those decisions longer term. But she says she's not confident schools will be back in session after May 1st. And you know, you guys, we are all in this together. That's important, one thing to remember. So taking these precautions will hopefully end this sooner rather than later. Back to you. Katie Wisely reporting live at UND. Thank